is Red Feather from Grepax. In this credit video, we will be showing you four different ways to put color into your text. Open Krita, create a new canvas, go to the toolbox, clicking the T text tool, then to the canvas, drawing a box. Once the text editor appears, type one letter. Adjust its size and choose the first color you would like. Click Save and then Close. Then go back to the Krita toolbox, clicking the T Text tool once again. Being on the vector layer that was developed for the first letter, draw a box once again. When the text editor appears, type your next letter, then adjusting size and choosing the next color you would like for the next letter, save and then close. After typing the second letter, or at any given time that you need to, click an individual letter on the credit vector layer and you can move the letter to its proper position. By drawing the box on the vector layer of Krita, this will keep all the letters on the same vector layer. Keep doing this until you have completed your colorful statement and have moved all the letters into their proper position. Once this is done in Krita, then it is time to add a background color, keeping in mind of color clashing and or canceling. Now for our next colorful text example. If you're following along, shut the eyelets off, adding a new layer, or create a new workspace. In the toolbox, click on the T-Text tool, but this time, once the text editor appears, type your whole statement and change the Krita color to white. Notice once you have created this white text, you cannot see it with a white background. And we are using the background color of our prior example. Being that said, if you have not yet set a background color, you should at this time, if you are following along with this Krita example. Once this is done in Krita, go to the toolbox, clicking on the Transform a Layer or Selection tool. Go to the canvas, resizing the text to a good size. Once this is done in Krita, go to Layers, right-click on the Vector Layer holding the text, scroll down to Merge with layer below, placing it on a regular paint layer. Go back to the Credit Toolbox, clicking on the Rectangular Selection Tool. Go to the word or letter you would like to move, drawing a box around it. Then go back to the Toolbox, clicking on the Move Tool, then to the Canvas, moving it to a good position. Keep doing this until all are in their proper positions. Once this is done in Krita, go to the title bar and click Select and scroll down to Deselect and click. 
Then go to the Critic Color selector, choosing the first color for the first letter of your statement. Then in the toolbox, clicking the Bucket Fill tool in the first letter on the canvas, place the first color. Then back to the Critic Color Picker, choosing the color for the next letter and then to the canvas to fill the next letter. Keep doing this until all the letters are filled in with the colors you like. For our next example, once again, bring up the text editor and type your whole statement, changing the color to white once again. This time, click on the Krita tools and options, then Click on Stroke, and the Gradient. Then go to the Title Bar Gradient Tool, and click. When the Gradient window appears, notice the Tools and Options Gradients bars. As I toggle through the different gradient features, and how the tools and option bars change. Once you have chosen a Krita gradient feature you like, go to the toolbox, clicking on the Transform Layer or Selection tool. Then to the canvas, resizing the text to better accommodate the gradient effect. Then, in the Credit Tools and Options, scroll down to Thickness. Raise its thickness to bring forth the gradient feature. Let me resize this Credit text so as it will be much easier to show the next part of this procedure. Notice the angled line running through the text. Notice as I grab and adjust each end of the angled line and how it adjusts the Krita gradient feature. This allows you to have different outcomes per placement as well as the length thereof. Once you have your gradient feature how you like it, let's add a Krita background color. And as always, keeping in mind the color is being used so as not to clash or cancel any of the colors. Then merge the vector layer with a Krita paint layer below. But not to the paint layer where you have added your background color, or you will run into problems on this next procedure. Once this is done in Krita, go to the toolbox, clicking on the rectangular selection tool. Draw a square around the word or letter to move. Then in the toolbox, click on the move tool and to the canvas, moving it to where you would like it. Keep doing this until all words, statements, and or letters are in their proper place. For the next part of this Krita example, once the text editor appears, type your whole statement, changing your Krita text to white once again. Once this is done in Krita, click on the Tools and Options. Click on Stroke, and then click on the Solid Color Fill. Then click on the color bar, choosing a color you will not be placing in your text or as a background color, and one that will not clash or cancel with the other colors to be used. 
Once this is done in Krita, go to the toolbox, clicking on the Transform Layer or Selection tool. And then to the canvas, resizing the text to a bigger size. Now we could adjust the Krita border thickness, but for this procedure, I feel the default of one works great for this example. Once this is done in Krita, go to layers, right click on the vector layer, holding the text, scroll down to merge with layer below and click. In the Krita toolbox, click on the bucket tool. Then go to the color picker, choosing a color for your first letter. Then to the canvas, placing it into the first text letter. Then back to the Krita color picker, picking a second color for the second letter. Keep doing this until all letters are filled. Once this is done in Krita, it is time to add a background color. So, I have a choice. I could add another layer, placing my background color on it, or place it where it belongs, on the layer labeled background color. In order to do this, you may have to unlock it, if not already. Notice the Krita lock symbol, click it to unlock, then go to the toolbox, clicking the bucket fill tool, then to the color picker, choosing a color for the background, and then to the canvas for placement. Once this is done in Krita, Using the Rectangular Selection tool and the Move tool, adjust all statements or letters to their proper positions. I hope you have enjoyed this credit tutorial and found it helpful in some fashion. And if so, then why not give this video a like? And while you're at it, why not become a subscriber? And Ring that bell in order to be notified your way of newly released videos. <laughs> I, I mean, ladies and gentlemen, after all, it is free. The beginning and the end of this video has been provided by none other than Alex Abayu One. Thank you in advance. I am out.